It's the number one Indian mixed martial artist on the planet. This is the debut all of India has been waiting for. It's time for Manga to lead the Indian charge in one championship. Good two-punch combination there for the BFL champion, Gurdashan Manga. Goes to the inside thigh. Double left hand there from Manga. Oh, boom, shakalaka. Nice takedown there from Gurdashan Manga. Outside leg kick there from Manga. Oh, oh there's the left hand from Manga. Here comes Gurdashan Manga. And he drives down Tauru. The confidence flowing now. He's done the damage to Tauru. Tauru locks onto a leg. Hammer fist strikes. It's all over. Gurdashan Manga wins on debut. That's a huge win for Manga. That's a huge win for Indian mixed martial arts. Final instructions from the 2018 Global MMA Awards Referee of the Year, the boss, Olivia Cost. And this is the debut all of India has been waiting for. Gurdashan Manga and Tony Tauru brought to you by Rose Garden Hotel Yangon. High left roundhouse kick from Gurdashan early on. So much hype, so much talk. For Gurdashan Manga, the BFL amateur champion. Nine finishes as a pro. Whoa. Tony Taru's got to be careful coming in like that, throwing those shots. That's how he got knocked out by Bibiano Fernandez coming forward. And Bibiano Fernandez, the coach of Gurdashan Mangat. Taru, those long arms. The Finn can finish, but so too can Mangat. Hey, now we got hey, the grab hey, for the first hey, time. Hey. Post up on the left arm. Back to his feet now, Tony Taru. It's been a long time between drinks for Tony Tauru. Good start here from Mangat Gurdashan. Tony Tauru's catching a lot of those kicks. It may have been a year and a half since he's been in the cage, but he said that time away really allowed him to get involved in coaching, working with a lot of his athletes, and getting better uh -huh. as an uh -huh. athlete himself. Uh -huh. Tony Tauru, Cage Warriors Bantamweight Champion. Gurdashan Mangat BFL Champion. Two more great martial arts champions in the cage here. Seven world champions on tonight's main card. Out of over 120 martial arts world champions on the one championship roster. Show your head. Up a cup short in there. Missed the target for Tauru. Good range on that. Left cross out of Southpaw starts for Gurdashan Mangat. Saint Lion, they call him. A roundhouse kick from the H Warriors Bantamweight champion in the red. BFL champion on the outside. Circling away from the power side of Tauru. Wisely so from Mangat. Looks in amazing condition. So as good as Sean Mangat. High up on the balls of his feet. The chin is tucked. Looking through the brow. Went for the inside thigh. Now Tauru would love to get him down, would love to play the ground game. Good two-punch combination there for the BFL champion, Gurdashan Manga of India. Nice left hand landed by Manga, he's able to find a home for it. Tauru's got to be careful coming in like that. He's got to keep his chin nice and tucked, follow that jab. Who tries to come over the top of the short right hook to Tony Tauru there. Cage Warriors champion threads a jab. Gets out of the way of the liver kick from Mungat. Mungat sticks the jab in the throat. Goes to the inside thigh. Double left hand there from Mungat. Flying knee from Tony Tauru. Uppercut from Tauru. Oh, nice takedown there from Gurdashan Mungat. A Plata attempt here from Tauru. Let's see if he can use to get back up. You can see the Oma Plata there, the shoulder lock on Gurdashan Mungat. Was it dangerous to take down a finisher on the ground like Tony Tauru? Yeah, this is a new weight division for you know Tony Tauru. I was a little bit worried when I heard he was dropping the flyweight. He spent a long time, he spent six years as a bantamweight. And to come all the way down, to have somebody like Gurdashan Mangat on top of you is a tough proposition. But so far, Tony Tauru is a bit more active. He's actually looking good at this weight. The former Cage Warriors champion, Tony Tauru, the BFL champion. Gurdashan Mangat. Mangat moving well, switching angles between a southpaw and orthodox. Gets out of the way, that long-reaching jab from the fin. 
There's the right hand from Tauru. Moite clinch a knee from Mungut. Mungut circles away from the power side, away from the right leg, the right hand of Tony Tauru. Mungut caught him coming in, tries to fold him in half with the knee. Good work on the inside for the BFL champion. Nice combination by Mungut to end up in that clinch and then throw that knee. More than 120 martial arts world champions on our roster of 500 plus athletes here at one championship. Mungut fires the left hand, whips upstairs with the high roundhouse kick. Tauru says, try to touch me on the beard if you can. In suddenly kick from Gurdashar Mungat. Neither man wants to give up a sense of cage here. No signs of ring rust on the cage warriors champion, Tony Tauru. Yeah, Tauru's looking really active at this weight. He's got it, you know, he's nice and light on his feet. He's a lot more active when in the stance. He's throwing a lot of, you know, flying knees. This is a new Tauru. I like the reinvention of the Viking. Lots of head movement from Tauru sitting behind the shoulder. Full jab, high left roundhouse kick there from Gurdashan Mangat, the BFL champion. The K Warriors champion misses with two punches on full extension into the first round. Wherever you're watching 138 countries around the world, it's one championship live from Yangon, Myanmar. Here's a little bit of action. There's Taru missing with the straight right hand, but then Manga came back with almost a stock and slap, <laughs> answering with a shot of his own. Again, you can just see Taru is consistently pushing forward. There's Manga ducking underneath Taru and ending up on top. But this led to that omoplata attempt by Taru. You can just see that as soon as Taru hits the ground, he is immediately attacking the submissions. Mangat refuses to take the stool. Taru's sitting down. Well, you're a sitter or a stander, Mitch? I was a sitter. I take full advantage of that 60 seconds. <laughs> Second round set for three between the BFL champion, Gurdashan Manga, the Cage Warriors bantamweight champion, Tony Taura. He's also a Finnish national BJJ champion. Round two. On debut. Number one Indian mixed martial arts star makes his first appearance in one championship. The biggest martial arts organization on the planet. Fake there from Mungut. Up on the balls of his feet again, the Indian. Cracks to the outside, back thigh. Aru reaching with the lead hand. Mungut changing levels, goes the inside thigh. There's the left hook. Mungut. In great shape, ripped, stripped, and striated. Look at the size of the delts and the traps on Gurdashan Mungat, the BFL champion. Gurdashan showing good head movement here in the second round. Nice and light on his feet, moving that head off of the center line, not staying in the middle. And shit, he's shifting his head away from the power side of Tauru. Tauru, who's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Finnish champion has another chance to show us much of the BJJ style and so far, Mitch. You know, he had that opportunity. As soon as Gurdasan took him down, he was immediately attacking. He shows that pedigree and why he is a BJJ champion is he attacking with Adam Plata. As soon as his back touched the ground, he was attacking. Taru's got a very dangerous guard. No oh, head kick there, landed. Double leg takedown attempt there from Taru. Tim getting down. Balls up a cut from Mangat. Back to their feet, center cage. 340 remains, second round of three. I've got it southpaw stance. Resets does the Indian, the BFL champion. Inside leg kick from the BFL champion. Now the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion in the red would love to get him down and tie him up like a finished pretzel. Body shot there from Gurdashan Mangat. Double jab, roundhouse kick, nicely done from Manga. Doubles up on the left leg, roundhouse. Almost fell into a high knee there. From the Cage Warriors champion. Manga's having a better round here in the second. He's been a lot more active in the punches. Overhand right, didn't come close there for Tauru. Circles off this Manga, thrust the jab. Roundhouse kick for the four rounds, another one from Manga. Striking contest here in the second round. Good counter right hand there from Tauru. BFL champion, Mungat circles off to his right, throws a good left hand out of Southpaw's dance. Tauru, lots of head movement. Using that shoulder protection again, a very side-on stance for the 
Finnish BJJ champion, Cage Warriors bantamweight champion. The BFL champion with the inside thigh kick. Jab to overhand right there from Tony Tauru. At what point, Mitch, does Tony Tauru's corner tell him, go for the takedown? Use what your main strength is. Let's get Gurdashan Manga on the ground and try and sub him. I think he has. He's tried a couple of what times to go for the takedown, but every time he's tried the takedown, he's been stuck. Manga's been able to put him, stop the sprawl, and really push, push the head down and get away. So Tauru's having a hard time committing to the takedown now because he's getting punished for it. And every time you do try something, every time, because takedown defense is a category of our scoring. Jab from the Finnish BJJ champion, long reach on the arms of Tony Tauru, returning to the cage after a long absence. As we said, showing no signs of ring rust. Against a man of one championship debut, Gurdashan Manga of India. I get good double forearms guard there from Manga. One minute, 10 remaining, second round of three. On what has been a thrilling night of action here in Yangon, Myanmar. Up next, of course, we're in Tokyo for the first time ever on March 31st. One minute left in the Bouts on the one night. The biggest card in history goes down at the Kokuki Gun in Tokyo on March 31st. Plus, add to that, the one debuts of Demetrius Johnson and Eddie Alvarez. Plus, Andy Sauer versus Yotsun Clive Fairtex. The most stacked card in history, Mitch. A new era, Tokyo, Japan, March 31st. But right now, we're seeing a high-level display of striking shown by Mangat. He's starting to wing for power. He's landing a lot of shots, and it's causing Tony Taru to switch legs and actually switch stances and get that because Mangat is just beating that leg up. BFL champion circles off to his right, gets out of the way of the front kick, tries to fire the left cross, goes the inside five. Final 10 seconds of the second stanza. Looping right hand there from Mungut, very wide southpaw stance now on the Indian. Jab from Tauru. Gonna go to the towers and we're gonna go to the quarter of the third and final round. We saw a lot of action. Most of it was coming from Mangat in this round two. Look at that nice head kick. Barely Taru was able to get his chin up. But again, look at this. He was able to get the takedown, but immediately Mangat pushes the head away, slides the foot out, slides that right leg out, immediately gets back up, and then starts throwing those hands. See, that is good takedown defense, and that's demoralizing for Taru to try to take down your opponent and have them so easily get away, my fellow. Some damage on the face there of Tony Taru of Finland. And Mento Mori tattooed across his chest. Interesting choice of tattoo. Third and final round. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Guys, you have one round to finish that fight, all right? Let's go. Back to your corner. The boss, Olivia Cost, the instructions for the Ready? third and final. Oh, Will it be a successful return for Tony Tauru? Will it be a victorious debut for Gurdashan Mangat of India? And now we feel a bit more gusto. We feel a bit more pepper. They've upped the intensity here, Mitch. Yeah, the boss came out and told them that they needed this to finish the match in this round. They got five minutes to put it on them, so... And they're actually, they're, they're trying right now. They're throwing hands. Outside leg kick there from Munga. Oh, oh there's the left hand from Munga. And he dropped Tauru. Tauru sprung back to his feet, but here comes the Indian. Here comes Gurdashan Munga. And he drives down Tauru. Top position now. Oh, that's smart by Munga to hurt him on the feet, drop him with the left hand, and then to swarm all over him and get that takedown. Up position for Manga. But I think Tony Taru actually is, that's in his favor. He's able to recover now. He's going to be able to clear the cobwebs out from that big shot that Manga landed, which dropped him. And now he's in his world. Now he can start working the guard. And Manga always skips around to the back of Taru. What's he going to do from here? The Indian, he tries a knee. And look at 
Kuda showing that the confidence flowing now. He's done the damage to Tauru. Tauru locks onto a leg. Hammer fist strike, it's all over. Good That's a huge win for Indian mixed martial arts. Wow, and the way that he did it in the third round to reach down deep after the referee said, you got one round to finish. Maka took it to heart, hurt him with the left hand. I want to see that left hand again. Watch this left hand. Maka slips back, boom, right on the butt, crumbles Taru, and then the veteran, the kick kicks in. He chooses to take Taru down, going into Taru's world, jumping knee up against the cage, and then just starts dropping the hammer fists. What a debut for Gurdashan Mangan. Amazing scenes of jubilation here for Gurdashan Mangan. The hype surrounding him was enormous. You feel that India mixed martial arts is on the brink. It's ready to explode into mega popularity. And this is the man who will lead the charge, no doubt. Gurdashan Mangat. Let's go to Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 23 seconds in the third and final round. Or your winner, by way of knockout, Gerdoshan Manga! That medal around the neck of that man, Gerdoshan Manga, means so much. Hey guys, it's Misha Tate. If you want to see more awesome One Championship content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it.